Good morning from Sebago Lake. We are on day four. We're gonna do a little hiking, but first we're gonna find some breakfast and coffee. We're gonna check out Annette's fried chicken and bakery for some breakfast. Wow. Look at that. Breakfast is coming. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else we need? Nope. I think we're good. Thank okay. you. Breakfast sandwich, biscuits and gravy, and home fries. We just finished our breakfast at Annette's. Everything was good. I got the biscuits and gravy, of course, and John got a breakfast sandwich. We didn't want to eat too much because we're going to go or look for a waterfall and do a little hiking today, hopefully. Everything was good, so check it out if you are in the area. John and his alternative routes. We just saw a little sign that said Schreiber's Mill, and he decided to take it. So now we're on our way to that, and on the way we found some turkeys and their young ones. So Schreiber's Mill is one and three tenths of a mile to our right. So this is where we are. They're only open Memorial Day, first and third Saturdays, June through September, and today is Wednesday. So can't go in, but it looks like it's an old sawmill, which is pretty cool. And that is really cool. Old sawmill. You can smell the, the grease that's on some of this stuff. It's pretty cool. Water looks a little high right now. I don't think it's supposed to be down here. I don't know if you can see the water underneath the grates. It's a pretty view. It rained a lot yesterday, off and on all day. We're a little bit north of Sebago Lake, so you can only assume that's why there's so much water here. It still looks really cool. Just wonder what the building looks like inside. This is what happens when John takes the alternative route. Usually we find a tree in the middle of the road and have to go move it. I'm gonna move it this one. You're gonna drive around it? Our journey has begun down to Kieser, Kieser Falls. It's a little wet. It rained yesterday, so things are a little slippery. Looks like what? What? It looks like a moose track. Oh. 
I'm on the hunt to find a moose. So. The trails are all wet. Oh. It's a lot closer than I thought it was. Let me turn it around. No, this one was supposed to be quick and easy. Down there. It's pretty cool. It's not that far off the path. It's just a little confusing on where to park around here. This is alternative route number two. We are in the National Forest. We are on our way to Mad River Falls. And this is the directions that it took us. where we're trying to go. Keep finding this stuff everywhere. It just looks like sheets of glass. Look at all the layers. This was a flat walk. I see water down here. You don't have my phone? We are at Bay Haven in Cornish, and we stopped here on our way back to the cabin that we are staying at. And so I will show you what we got for lunch. So John got a combo that has fried scallops and clam strips. He also got french fries for his side, and he's eating his salad right now. And then I went with their lobster roll, and I got it with butter, and my side was onion rings. So 
It looks really good with all of that lobster in there. Okay, so I have my lobster roll here. They give me a huge cup of butter. Nice toasted roll. There is lettuce on there, so I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Want to eat this? The butter's really good. Actually, I don't mind this lettuce. It's really good. It's nice big chunks of lobster. Sounds like that. It's really sweet. I don't know. I do like the bun. It's nice and toasted. It's got good flavor. So this one's up there, even though it's got lettuce on there. But we'll have to try a few more bites. I got fried clams and some fried scallops. These are just clam strips, not the belly. Let's see how these are. They're good and sweet. Breading is light, not, not, not a lot of flavor to the breading. It's kind of a light breading on it. No seasoning in it, so it kind of block that way. I will say the clam strips are delicious, though. That's tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is good. Like a standard. I don't know. Everybody thinks they have special tartar sauce, but I haven't found one that stands out. Now let's try a scallop. Huge. Huge scallops. Looks like there's six in here. So, see, I'll get one. I'll have the rest. Let's try it. Mm, that one's good. Not real, that one's not real sweet, but it's got good flavor. Light, the same light breading as the clam strips, so not a lot of seasoning. I might have to try another one. Just to see. Let's see. Yeah, not a strong flavor on that one. We've had better. Not bad, though. Pretty good. I mean, <clears throat> fried clams and fried scallops can't really go wrong. All right. Let's see how this lobster roll is. Tia said she loves the lettuce. So let's dip it in a little bit of the butter. We get a lot of flavor from the first one. Still good. Bun's good. Lettuce is nice and crisp, which is good. I'll have to do another bite. Bring with that big claw meat. I don't know how I can dip that up. I'm going to try to get a little butter drizzle on it. Yeah, claw meat's always the best. The pieces are really good, sweet. That's good. I don't know how I rate this one. I have to look at our list and come up with a number. It's not bad. I've had better. Okay, I'm gonna try John's fried combo here. So we got some clam strips with the tartar sauce. So that one is pretty sweet. Um, the batter is nice on there. It's not too salty. Like the tartar sauce. Now I get one one scallop. You better have two. No, I'll just have one. They are pretty big. They're almost the size of the palm of my hand. Nice and flaky. Mm. Now I really like those. Mm -hmm. That was really sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely recommend the scallops.
the water. Butchers, seafood, seafood market, lobster pond. Thanks for joining our day four in Maine. Today we had breakfast at a little diner just north of where we are staying. After that, we drove further north and to the west and a little bit into New Hampshire and back to find a couple of waterfalls. And then on our way back, we stopped at a, a restaurant and we had another lobster roll. And then we stopped at a market. We've got some lobster meat so that we could take that home. So. Tonight is just going to be a relaxing evening at the cabin that we are staying at on the lake here. And we are going to plan for our last full day here in Maine. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining today's journey.